super cool slides, uh, I wanted to introduce to you a tool that I call Trove. Trove is the time search research, uh, time series research observation and visualization environment. Uh, I originally had no notion of presenting this or demoing it to anybody, but there were, I think, three talks yesterday uh, from some like-minded individuals doing data science work with Prometheus, so I figured I could bore at most 196 of you. Um, so what does Trove look like? Trove is a data science tool. Uh, it's pre-alpha, it's horribly buggy, and it's feature incomplete. Let's see. Uh, okay, so the first thing you see is uh, a very weird looking interface. It, it's not wrapped in a web browser. Uh, it's, a, it's a fat client. Um, so let's select a data source. I have the a test one and then a mock one. So as soon as I select that, it goes out and it, uh, it queries the Prometheus server that it knows how to talk to, and it fetches instance and job. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna work backwards from the way that you're typically gonna do a Grafana dashboard uh, or use the, the web UI. We're gonna work from labels towards metric. So let's select job and it, it knows that, hey, look, there's one thing that has a job and it's laptop because it's just talking to the Prometheus running on my local laptop. So we double click that and let's start to build a qualifier. So we build a qualifier expression, job equal laptop, and we find metrics. Here's every metric that the Prometheus server on the laptop knows has label equal laptop. Uh, let's hunt through it. I'm interested in the node CPU because this is the one that I've been playing with. Uh, and I could graph this now or I could open it up now, or I could look at it now, but I know that there's more labels on it. So let's double click it and we get new labels to go and look at. I realize this, this looks a little weird, but we click mode and now here's every possible mode for the CPU. I'm interested in idle, right? So let's build a second qualifier. Let's highlight them both. Let's take the data and let's throw it to a plot. So this I realize is not going to kill Grafana anytime soon. Um, <laughs> But here's my data, all right, and, and let's start to get into the, the, the time series data science stuff. Hopefully my file menu will work. Yes, and I can save this data. Let's save it on the desktop as idle, if I could type, as a CSV, and there we go. And this will work in everybody's favorite uh, data anal analytics tool. Right? Okay, so I can export data. But why would I want to export data? Observant viewers might have noticed that I have a console tab here. This console is an embedded IPython interpreter with a Jupyter client uh, talking to it. Um, because this is all Python and because this is all using NumPy and data frames, I can go ahead and grab the data that I had just loaded as a data frame. And there's my data frame. So if I want to do data science work, I have access to that data right here, easy to get. That's all.